Good morning, LHS. I'm Jacob Howard. And I'm CJ. And it's Thursday, October 17th. Here's what's happening today. Our club's annual haunted house Let's Play will be next Friday, Saturday from 7 to 9. The cost is only $5. Be there and be scared. Our club, don't forget that you have a meeting today after school. Students, do you like to speak your mind on interesting and challenging topics with other students? If so, come join the LHS Debate Club. Meetings will be every Monday for 30 minutes right after school in Mr. Barber's room. Come and make your voice be heard. AP Sciences will be selling pizza and drinks after school on Friday, October 18th for a dollar a slice. Be sure to support the AP Sciences this Friday. Allied Health is selling dodgeball tickets and dance-off tickets for both lunches. They are $2 each. Remember, you have to pay these in advance. You can't buy them at the door. Be sure to answer the math problems of the week. This week, you can get a gift card or a homecoming ticket. Want to become better at winning arguments? Want to learn how to pass a law? Then come join the Legislator Club. There will be a meeting today after school in the auditorium. If you have any questions or would like some more info, email or come see Ms. Bechtel. Sophomore boys playing volleyball. There will be a practice right after school today, Thursday, October 17th. Report it to the blacktop. Also, coaches for powder puff volleyball need to come if not still playing volleyball. Also, girls playing powder puff football, see Colton Bass or Max Lofton about practices. To all classes, your class sponsor has a list of all participants, boys and girl coaches. Please see them to get the list. All persons on those lists should be included. They have purchased a t-shirt to participate. Students cannot report to practice if they do not know when it is. Please be considerate of others. Shout out to Harley Collins and Isaac Polanco for finishing 28th out of 141 boats on the water last Saturday and Sunday. All three teams fished hard, even with difficult conditions. It was a great start to our Florida Bass Nation season. And that's all for today. Now we'll move to the weather. Hey you guys, I'm starting to be with today's weather. And the high is going to be 89 degrees. With times of clouds and sun with a shower or thunderstorm in spots, it's definitely going to be humid. And the low is 72 degrees. It's part of the cloudy and humid. That's all for today. I love to you guys. Hello, um, I'm Sunshine. Today's with Teachers Take, and I'm here with Mr. Hendren. And Mr. Hendren, I want to ask you, what do you teach? I teach English and ESL English. What all are you involved in at LHS? I'm really involved with the anglers, um, the fit bass fishing team that no one seems to know exists, but we have been uh, making great strides with the club and even had a couple of students uh, place pretty high last weekend. Yes, sir. Um, how long have you been teaching? This is my seventh year. Okay, what brought you to, what brought you to LaBelle? The first time, my one of my uh, eight grandchildren's parents is from here, and then it was another teacher that brought me back the second time. Yes, sir. Um, why did you become a teacher? I kind of fell into it. I was mastering in English courses in eastern New Mexico, and I started subbing, and the principal at that school I was at, at the time subbing says, hey, you're pretty good at this. You're the big I'm a teacher. And it all kind of rolled out from there. Seems like a nice story. What is most rewarding about teaching? The students. They may drive me crazy. Somehow I have patience more than my than, than with my own children. Um, but uh, it's the, all, the students are never the issue, ever. Yes, sir. What are some of your frustrations? Uh, I'd have to probably quote Mr. Williams right there. <laughs> Remington French just raised his hand. You guys can't see it, but he raised his hand and said, I'm the frustration. So we'll give a shout out to Remington. Um, and Mr. Williams says it's paperwork. Usually it's, it's, extra, it's busy work. Um, but the lessons and the kids are never the, are never the issue. It's everything else we have to, we have to go through that, that, that uh, most students, that students never see. Okay, what can you tell us about your students? Um, they're extremely bright this year. Um, grade point average is very high. Yes, sir. This is the first year where I've averaged anywhere between a 78 to 83 percent class average for this quarter. So I'm pretty impressed and I'm looking forward to what they do on their FSA test this year. Yes, sir. Anything exciting you are looking forward to this year? Um, May 29th, I think, is a pretty good day to be excited about. May 30th, somewhere like that. Um, and then, of course, the uh, the the, uh, the fishing kids that are that have taken off this year, um, we're, we're, I'm pretty excited to finally see after three years that that's, that, that that program has taken off. 
Thank you, Mr. Hendrens. That's it with Teacher's Take. Hey, y'all. Here are the sports for today. The volleyball team beat Sarasota Military Academy Tuesday night, three sets to zero. In the district semifinal, Sarasota had 26 assists, Dylan White had 13 kills, Jenna Morrissey had 10 kills, and Haley Boone had nine kills. Thursday night, the Cowgirls will play host to Lemon Bay for the district championship. Game time is at six o'clock, and we love to pack the house and paint the gym red. This is the first time the team has played in the district championship in quite some time. So come on out and support your Cowgirls, and make sure you wear red. That's it for LHS today. I'm Jacob Howard, and I'm CJ, and we'll be right back here tomorrow.